Jesse Owen and Morgan Smith had been attending a funeral. Later that day, they would be killed when the car Jesse was driving collided with a bus in Coydeli near Tom Revel. All three were teenagers. The inquest was shown CCTV footage of the moments leading up to the crash, including footage from within the bus itself. We also heard written evidence from one of the crash survivors, Ellis Williams, who was a passenger in the car. He reported how he felt the car was travelling too fast. Elsewhere, we heard eyewitness evidence of people saying the car was travelling exceptionally fast, maybe 50 to 60 miles an hour in a 20 mile an hour zone. The coroner said although Jesse Owen had been drinking that day, the likely cause of the accident was the speed at which he was driving the car. He said it was at least 50 miles an hour, and that had he driven at 20 or 30 miles an hour, the collision and the devastation that night would likely not have occurred. Outside the inquest, Callum's mother, Natalie, called for change. A graduated license scheme would reduce peer pressure on teen drivers to take passengers. It was raise aware of the risks to parents and reinforce them when educating their children. Unfortunately, Callum and his friends' stories are not unique. Almost 5,000 people a year are affected by a death or seriously injured as a result of a young driver each year. If these figures were caused by knife crime, there would be an outrage, but for some reason more death is accepted. It would mean learned drivers like me be restricted once they pass. But she disagrees and says having others in the car would make her more careful. Every day I feel like I need to drive better. I'm a learner now and when I when I pass my test I should be able to go where I want, pick up who I want. I shouldn't have to have all these restrictions. And with insurance being so high as well, it's just putting more and more things so like not many people will want to drive anymore. For her instructor Reese. It's a complicated issue. Any sort of measures taken to improve safety on the roads, it's, it's got to be a positive outcome. Um, uh, the concern is, is, I think I feel like it's possibly going to build up suspense once they, they take off that, that G plate. You're going to sort of think, right, G plate's off, here we go. And from what we see on the roads, you know, I don't think it's, it's just young young lads. I think it's you know young ladies as well. You know, it's, and to be honest, I see a lot of, of, of bad behaviour on the roads from grown men. The family of the teenagers left the inquest knowing more about what happened that night. A tragedy they hope others will never have to go through. Rob Osborne, ITV News.